Hello everybody and welcome. In this lesson we are going to draw a character so that we can rig it in Synfig and later create a walk cycle. We will be drawing the character in Inkscape and we will later export it to Synfig. The character will consist of various parts, each of which will be able to move separately. This is called cutout animation. If you like, you can download an example of the completed uh, file from the link in the description. So the first step is design. Here's a sketch I did of the character I'm going to draw now. I did the sketch on an ancient technology called pen and paper. If you're a millennial, you might not have heard of this. Suffice it to say, it was invented by the ancient Egyptians and had, it is almost obsolete now that we have drawing tablets, but I'm still old school, so I drew it on pen and paper. The first thing to do is to trace the sketch into Inkscape. This tutorial will be covering neither uh, how to draw or sketch, nor how to use basic Inkscape. If you're interested in learning how to draw, I'd recommend this channel, which actually taught me a lot. And uh, if you would like to learn the basics of Inkscape, I would recommend you take a look at this channel. I'm going to skip ahead to where I've drawn the whole puppet. Now, make sure you draw the movable body parts as separate objects. For example, the torso, the upper arm and the lower arm are three separate objects because the puppet should be able to move around the uh, shoulder and the elbow. If I want, if I want her to move her uh, hand at the wrist, then I also have to make her hand as a separate object. Next, let's make a circle to help in setting up the joints. This is like a construction line, only it's not a line, it's a circle. First I'm going to add a new layer and name it Circles. I'm going to hold Ctrl to keep the width and the height of the circle the same. Let's color it yellow and make it transparent. Next, let's go to Snap Settings and enable Snap to Center as well as Snap Nodes, Paths and Handles. We draw four lines to clearly show where the center of the circle is. After that, we group the objects together. We are going to disable snap settings again and move the circle to the shoulder area. We resize the circle and we adjust the shoulder on the torso side so that it follows the circle. Next, let's place the upper arm. After we've placed the upper arm, we click on it using the selection tool and click on it again until the possibility to rotate it appears. Let's move the center of rotation to the center of the circle. And let's test to see if rotating the upper arm looks okay. Here we can make some minor adjustments until there are no discontinuities in the motion. We repeat the same for all the remaining joints. The shoulder, the elbow joints, the hip joints, and the knee joints. Finally, we are going to save this as a synfig file. Click on File, Save As. 
and we choose Synfig animation in the drop down list and click on save. Thanks for watching. In the next video in this series, we will be rigging this puppet. If you like this video, you might also like this one. And since you're here anyway, why not give this video a thumbs up? Have a nice day. Bye bye.